Now, let me start by telling you what is not on this list, and that is personal space, a clean house, really the ability to get anything done ever, bathroom privacy, So when I think of why we are choosing to homeschool, I think of this one line from an Abbott Brothers song. So when you run, make sure you run to something, not away from. And I love this line and I've had it in my head at times in my life where I've had to make big decisions or transitions. And I do listen to a lot of Avett Brothers stuff in general. So it's really not a big surprise that I would have a lyric of theirs in my head. But this particular line, I think just kind of resonates more with me. And I, I think that's because it's important to me that I move toward things that are positive. Like, so I'm not just choosing a lesser evil or, doing things because I'm being reactive or impulsive. If you actually would like a good example of my impulsivity, I give you exhibit A here, my bangs. I'm like a child that can't be left unsupervised with scissors. And as much as I would like to say, I'm not gonna do that again, I'm probably gonna do it again. Moving on, welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Amanda Norris and I'm a new homeschool mom living in the Berg and doing the preschool thing right now. And here at the beginning of our homeschool journey, I just kind of wanted to throw out a few of the reasons why we are choosing to homeschool our two girls. So I sat down at one point and kind of had a little brain dump of my intentions for homeschooling. And I'm gonna throw out Ali Casaza again here. Uh, if you are not familiar with her, she is awesome. And you should be, just saying. I think that the two main things that I've gained from her, uh, the first one I've mentioned before, and I'm probably gonna mention it all the time, and that is to let it be easy. And the second one here is to set intentions for different parts of your life. So like I actually sat down and typed out intentions for different things like homeschooling, obviously, uh, this YouTube channel, my girls' childhoods, my lots of stuff. And it's this really cool, powerful thing that I think kind of grounds us and also gives me this really clear sense of direction. So once you kind of identify and recognize what matters to you, what you value, what you want things to look like, what outcomes you want to work toward. Once you do that, then it becomes really easy to determine what you should be saying yes to, like what things are worth your, your time and your energy and your resources. And then on the flip side, it's also very easy to figure out what you can say no to. I have a hard time saying no to things sometimes and um, this kind of streamlines that. It makes it easy to say no to things that do not align with my intentions. So things that maybe just ultimately would create clutter or stress or decision fatigue or uncertainty or comparison, ugh, all that stuff. And I feel like this probably seems like a bit of a tangent, right? But it's not. It's the foundation of how I got here and how I know that this is where we want to be. Okay, so back to the Avett brothers, let's talk a little bit about what we are running to in our homeschooling journey. Um, when I sat down and kind of identified those intentions for this journey, I tried to make it kind of like a, a good vibes only kind of space. I think this is something that's really good for our family, good for our girls. So I, I wanted to focus on that. So we're just gonna dive right in, I guess. Uh, I'm most likely going to ramble because I'm really excited about this. I am really pumped to be on this journey. Let's get comfy, grab a beverage. Ah, oh, this video is not brought to you by Trader Joe's cold brew coffee, but it should be. So Trader Joe's, if you're watching. So we'll just jump right in here in no particular order with numero uno. And that is... every day really like i want my family to have days that are calm and simple and happy and full of things like exploration and affirmation and messes and mistakes and laughing and unconditional love and all that gooey junk i i want that and 
I also want them to be full of time and space. And I want this to be our foundation, you know? I want this to be the norm. I, I want to embrace and look forward to every day that we wake up and get to do life, right? Because these ordinary days make up the bulk of our existence and I don't wanna wish them away like counting the days till the weekend or till summer or vacation. And I also don't want to fill them up to the point where they just fly by and then days or weeks go by and we, we realize that we haven't really had a chance to just be in the moment with the people we love. And call me crazy, but I really do think I can make this happen. And I think that my attitude and my intentions have a lot of weight, right? Like moms are really powerful guys and our kids take on our attitudes towards stuff. Whatever those attitudes are, they just absorb all the vibes that we're sending out. So by framing things in a positive way in my mind, I know that I'm sending out positive vibes to them that then they can carry with them. Okay, now the next one is all about curriculum. So we get to choose our own curriculum, right? How cool is that? We get to choose a curriculum or even a combination of different resources that we can put together to suit our family, our values, our lives, like history, for example. That's something that is important to me personally. Like I really want to offer my girls information that is broad and honest and I want to present it in a way that promotes conversation and understanding and that kind of piques their curiosity and makes them have questions and seek answers to those questions. And I can do that. I can find that and I can offer them that. We are going to do a combination of secular and Christian curriculums. We are kind of like outdoorsy, you know, we're into nature and camping, kind of like slow living and crunchy stuff, I guess. And I think that Blossom and Root was absolutely the right starting place for us. Like we're only like a month and a half into it so far, but it really just kind of feels like us. At some point down the road, we're going to add in most likely some good and the beautiful material as well. And hopefully that can sort of act as a, a supplement to Blossom and Root as the foundation, but that might change and that's okay. And that's the cool part, right? We can just pick and choose all these bits and pieces that we find to create something that just completely suits us, something that we can feel really good about giving our kids. And now along with that actually comes my next why, which is... It's the whole flexibility aspect of homeschooling. I love that this is something that we can do uh, in the dining room. We could do it on the porch, in the backyard. We could do this at a campsite at Trader Joe's. Uh, anywhere and everywhere, and then really nothing to tie us down. We can do it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, weekends. We could make this uh, be something that we do only four days a week or seven days a week, or actually this week I'm giving myself a little bit of a challenge to work everything for the week into one day. And we can do that, we can do it however we want and it's something that can be fluid and mobile. Um, we can just bring it with us and weave it into all the different adventures that we have and make learning something that is just, you know, happening through life. And that actually is a great segue for my next reason, which is hands-on learning through experience, through a variety of experiences. So right now, the big one here at this age, 100% is play. Like I want to nurture and protect my girl's childhoods like that mama bear on all the mama bear shirts. This is something that I feel so strongly about and I am so geeked to have their schoolwork be a part of the magic of their childhood, not an interruption to it. I am Go get a cracker. Go ahead. Go tell Lucy you want one. Say, Lucy. All right. <sighs> and then there's all that learning through living, you know? So like going to the grocery store, trips to the museum, uh, going to the park, volunteer work, community involvement, all that good stuff. And I cannot wait to see down the road where their interests and passions are going to take us. And that is an excellent segue to my next why, which is meeting my girls where they are 
and honoring who they are. So that means giving them whatever balance of space and support that they might need to thrive and to grow into grounded, authentic, happy, badass versions of themselves. And there's something that I read somewhat recently. Um, I wish I could tell you where or who said it, but it kind of clicked and stuck with me about seeing kids as they are, like really seeing them as these whole complete valuable people that as adults, as their parents or teachers, we can help them to be themselves, to feel comfortable in that, to discover their passions and their interests and their strengths, uh, to embrace their quirks and their differences, and then they can embrace their quirks and their differences. And that is such a big deal. Like we can replace things like comparison and disappointment with acceptance, right? Like we can just do that. We can make the choice to do that and then do that. And then they can do that. And it really just blows my mind how simultaneously simple and massive this is. And it actually makes me think of another Avett Brothers quote that I'll throw in here. Decide what to be and go be it. We can just kind of decide what type of parent, what type of homeschool parent we want to be and then we go be it. And now that I'm thinking about it in this context, like how cool would it be too for us to, to model this way of thinking and to empower our kids to do that as well, to decide what to be and go be it. <sighs> okay, I told you I was going to ramble, but there is just one more left, I swear. Last things last, although like I said, these are in no particular order and this one is super important and that is time with family. Like I know that this time of my girls being little and then after that, the time of them being not so little, I know it's just all going to fly by and that absolutely kills me. Basically, I just want to have substantial amounts of quality time with my girls. I, I want that. And I want them to have time with each other as well. Like my absolute favorite thing in the world is watching my girls together, whether they are snuggling and loving up on each other and laughing or they're working on their conflict resolution skills and compromise and all that in whatever ways they happen to do it. Everything about their sisterhood is amazing. It's, it's pure magic. And if there is something that I can do to support that, then I'm gonna do it, right? Like it's a priority. And really guys, that's what this whole list is about, right? Priorities. So <sighs> there are more, um, but I don't think that anyone would really want to sit through a more comprehensive video. I applaud you if you actually made it to the end of this video. Um, so this is it in a nutshell, you know, and I, I've done a lot of research and I've given this a lot of thought, blah, 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 but you don't really see any of that necessarily reflected in these reasons that I just shared because the stuff that pours out first is more qualitative and quantitative, right? It's more of just a, a gut feeling and a knowing that this is what's right for our family. And everyone is going to have different whys and different is cool guys. So hop down to the comments and share with me one of your reasons why. Uh, try to keep it with the good vibes only theme and tell me something that your family is running to by choosing to homeschool. Now, if you like this video per huge, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, check us out on Instagram at Foursquare Schoolhouse where we are sharing daily content uh, and come back to hang out again soon. I guess uh, thanks for listening to my TED talk.